So what exactly is happening with Biomutant, the open world action RPG made by the former creators of the Just Cause series and published by THQ Nordic? We already knew that the game was playable as early as 2018, but its supposed 2019 release was eventually moved back and since then the developers have been pretty quiet about it, like is it still being worked upon, are there any plans for a 2020 release and what else can we expect from the game in light of the new generation of consoles that are going to launch later this year. Well, we're going to go over that and more in just a little bit, so a like on this video would be amazing, but in the meantime I also want to announce that our March giveaway for any game you want is pretty much up and you can go ahead and check it out by following the links in the description down below. Once there, make sure you sign up on the website so you can participate and also complete the challenges down below for extra entries. Being subscribed to my channel is not required, but it does increase your chances to win, so it would be super awesome if you did that too. As always, a huge shout out to Instant Gaming for helping me with these giveaways. Anyway, let's begin with the latest statement from Experiment 101, the developer behind the game from earlier last month when they had this to say. According to their Twitter post over here, the Swedish developer wants to assure everybody that the game is still very much in development and that they've never been working harder and more focused on it up until now. We're doing everything we can to make this the best game all of us have ever worked on and that it will be as entertaining and great as we can possibly make it. We can only hope for your continued support and patience as we complete the final stages of its development. We will reveal the release date as soon as everyone at the studio feels confident about hitting the date and that the game is ready for it, end of quote. And to be perfectly honest, I think that the studio's approach of taking their time and making the game as good as possible is a solid one. I mean, even though it is made out of developers that worked on big titles before, like the Just Cause games I was talking about, it is still a new studio nonetheless and the game does still look very ambitious. So giving it every bit of extra time to make the game as good as possible and focus on that quality I was talking about might just prove to be a better long-term investment rather than rushing a game out the window like how so many other big gaming companies have done nowadays. So again, something that could very well prove to be very useful and um, very rewarding to the entire company as well as the game. And if Biomutant does prove to have a successful initial release, this could mean that there's going to be more content later down the line either being in the forms of DLCs and maybe even a sequel if it does very well and I would definitely love to see a sequel for a game such as Biomutant. Now as far as its possible release window here is where it becomes a bit more complicated and a bit more concerning from my point of view because um, it's already March and a summer 2020 release looks more and more unlikely as we get closer and closer to it. Um, this doesn't mean it couldn't happen, a quick announcement followed by an early release date isn't uncommon. It does definitely happened in the past with other games, but considering they've taken their time with everything up until now, I just don't see that to be quite likely. I, I don't think they're going to rush everything down the very last second, so this could very well be an announcement followed by um, a release window a few months after that. Um, for example, even at the current time, both the official website as well as the Steam page still show 2020 as the release date, but the precise day and month isn't shown anywhere and it's not like uh, this wasn't subject to change in the past as well anyway. So for example, in 2019, the same date was shown both on the Steam page as well as on the website, but eventually that got changed as well. So definitely take any release date that isn't officially confirmed from the company with a massive grain of salt. This pretty much leaves us with two possible time windows, either late summer, for example, an August release, or sometimes in mid-fall, because uh, well, around that time is when uh, things kind of die out a little bit as September of 2020 is going to be a huge month for gaming because um, two of the biggest games of this year are going to release then following their delays earlier this year. So in this case in September we have the two and very anticipated games um, Cyberpunk 2077 and Marvel's Avengers and especially Cyberpunk 2077 I'm worrying that it's most probably going to cannibalize everything around that 
that time window. But we also have the new Avengers game I was talking about that um, even though this did see some negative feedback around it, it's still the Marvel Universe we're talking about, it's still absolutely massive and since it has such a huge worldwide following, I can see it still generating a ton of sales and still being a huge game in itself. So um, I think that both of these games are going to eat everything around that time window. Um, and also let's not forget about the fact that later in this year and there's other bigger games like for example Godfall which is um, both scheduled for a late 2020 launch as well as a launch on the new generation of consoles. So Godfall for example could be a launch title for the PS5 for example and that would place it sometimes in December and what this means is that we have the months of October and November um, pretty much being left a little bit open over there and also likely candidates for a Biomutant release in 2020. So yeah, even though this is still all speculation on my part, I could be wrong, uh, it's more likely going to be November in my opinion if I were to bet my money on it, just because it looks a little bit more clear than the other release windows and uh, yeah, this is the time when things kind of start calming down a little bit after the release of Cyberpunk and of course um, Marvel's Avengers and it's not yet the PS5 and the new Xbox Series X release so it could be a perfect time for um, Biomutant to release exactly in that time window. Now the only question that remains is what happens if this is going to be delayed even more? I've seen some people saying that this could very well be an early 2021 release like for example sometimes in January or even February and I just don't see that likely to to happen and by then the new generation of consoles will already be out and this effectively means that the game at that point would be launching on the old consoles mainly the PS4s and the Xbox Ones and uh, yeah even though this is planned for this generation of consoles by that time I think that it would be kind of late even though not many people would get a chance to transition so fast that the new generation it still could very well mean that um, there's going to be a dent in the overall sales as yeah many people would be looking to just straight out buy the new consoles and play the newest games and if there's any old game that they might be playing or wanting to play they could very well do that through the backwards compatibility. So again the conclusion if the game doesn't get any announcements in the upcoming month it's most probably going to be a mid fall release with a likely candidate being November of 2020 or at the very least that's what I would bet my money on. Anyway the game does look very ambitious but I do have confidence in the team this is the same team that created the Just Cause series, especially Just Cause 2, which was arguably one of the best Just Cause games, well, of any other games that have been released in the series, and it's something that I played extensively when I was younger, so um, definitely something that made my childhood so, um, a very fun game, which is why I kind of want to see what's the next level for the team and what they are going to bring next. Um, but anyway, this game, Biomutant, is supposed to be a post-apocalyptic Kung Fu Fable-like game, um, it's set up in an open world with multiple biomes, zones and enemies and the world over there does look very pretty, it does look um, vast, uh, no two areas look like one another, there's like beautiful lush paradise areas but there's also like contaminated ones with like all kinds of pollution going on over there, so something that I like quite a lot. Um, it's also packed filled with every conceivable RPG feature you can expect from a game like this. I also like the fact that it seems to have a pretty deep character customizer, like um, it gives you a lot of control over almost every aspect of your character's body, like the fur, the skin, um, limbs, head and whatnot, um, and there's also a ton of other features in there to help it out with that. Um, there's a level and perk system that lets you invest points to strengthen your attributes and even unlock new attacks that will be useful against many enemies that you will be fighting on the map and speaking of enemies there is a ton of them even in like the early gameplay footage there is a nice uh, a nice variety of, of uh, fights over there happening there's a lot of uh, abilities that you can use against them but even better uh, there's a lot of enemies that uh, can be quite threatening um, they seem to be quite difficult at times and it also seems that there is a nice number of huge boss battles and I am always a fan of huge boss battles battles, especially in an action RPG like this one. As far as gear systems go, it's surprisingly similar to games like Borderlands for example, where you have a rather large variety of weapons with all kinds of fixes and elemental effects on them that you can further combine to exploit enemy weaknesses, so it's interesting to see how this is going to all pan out because it does sound like some elements might be better against certain enemies and some might not, so you will have to pay attention.
attention to it and create proper builds which definitely reminds me of games like Borderlands which I already covered quite extensively here on this channel so um, something that I find to be quite fun and interesting to do. Overall the game also has some gorgeous to look uh, graphics, um, it's been looking good even in its first reveal in 2017 but as more and more gameplay was revealed over the years it became even better and looked even more impressive so I can only imagine how bad it's going to look in 2020 now that uh, the developers had so much time to iterate upon it and make it better and hopefully make it the game they really wanted to make and uh, yeah just be successful overall because it does look quite interesting. Anyway this has been pretty much it with Biomutant for now I hope you guys enjoyed this video now let me know down below what's your opinion on all of this are you anticipating this game do you want to play it and how early would you see its release window in the meantime also don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content like this and i will see you guys in the next one so peace out